What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Miss Maggie T at Atlanta Falcons Nation. You already know I'm going to get into this, but man, look at this right here. They pretty much just disrespected our stadium <laughs> by dancing in it. Pretty much clinching their playoff berth right there in our home stadium, you guys. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, let's get to it. You know, we lost 21-16 to this Sunday in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. What better way of seeing them doing that, clinching their playoff first? Because um, going into this at a 4-6, and, four and six, they pretty much cut our chances at it, even though, you know, we really wasn't like... <laughs> I mean, we was like, hey, there was a small little window possibility, but mm -hmm. not under Dirk Cutter's offense. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. Uh, we basically struggled underneath him against New Orleans. With questionable run calls and key moments, root concepts that made little sense. And a lack of creativity until it was too late. No halftime adjustments. Just looked like the same exact team as far as how it was in week 11. Pretty much Dirk Carter has overstayed his time here in Atlanta. And with that, that just leads it to Matt Ryan. He looked... just frantic in the pocket despite being uh, sacked five fewer times than week 11 um, when there was time he had nowhere to go Ryan completed less than half of his passes on Sunday but despite all that defense wasn't a problem I mean, but you don't, you never want to give two touchdowns to Taysom Hill, a backup quarterback. Um, but it's outside of those uh, couple of big plays, though, Atlanta's defense showed up. Um, but I mean, and the Falcons would have had no chance at a comeback without some type of clutch defensive stops late. But, along with that, though, Ku has been Atlanta's best source of offense this year. Anytime your kicker is your team's biggest offensive threat, it's probably a sign that the system is not working. Of course, Ku made all three field goals attempt on Sunday. And, of course, he's on track for a Pro Bowl selection. You know, and you know, I'm pretty sure he's going to get that. But on the sake of our struggling offense, though, doesn't look good in Atlanta, y'all. It doesn't look good. As well as we continue to... Use Todd Gurley as our central part of our plan when the Falcons need points quick. Why? I just don't understand what's going on in this franchise right about now. I really don't. I mean, produce three field goals on nine possessions until finally scoring a touchdown with less than eight minutes left. It wasn't enough. <sighs> I don't know, man. The Falcons went to Todd Gurley when they needed a touchdown to win with five minutes to play. But, hey, good luck to New Orleans. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, but as far as the sake of Raheem Morris, it also probably ruined his chances at a potential uh, audition for that head coaching spot. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Um, what do you do here? What do you absolutely do here? At this point, you just, I don't know. What do you do? Blow it up, start it all over. Destroy the whole team, rebuild. Is that the question? And Todd Gurley and Edo Smith each had eight carries on Sunday. Gurley finished with just 16 yards. And Smith racked up 38 yards. Brian Hill rushed about five times for 18 yards. Okay, let's just address it. This brotherhood is dead. It's dead. It's dead. Rise up, all of that. Let's just cut it. Be done with it. Just go ahead and just... Get rid of all the coaching staff. I mean, every remnants of Dan Quinn's ghost. <laughs> <laughs> at this point. And you got to start pointing fi fingers at off the blank as well. Because you just haven't been successful. You have to be sick and tired of this at this point. You have to be. You have to be. Our fan base. The players. There's no accountability for that, for their actions and things, you know? Raheem is shaping up a little bit, but man, it's pretty much too late for that at this point. It's too late. There is a disconnect somewhere in this locker room. There is a disconnect between the coaches and the players. But on that note, that's all I got to say about that. That, that, that just... You know, I see us maybe two additional wins, but what the fuck, what, whatever, <laughs> you know, but hey, Atlanta Falcons Nation will still be here. We'll still be talking about it. We'll still be fans. And I appreciate each and everybody that tunes in that vented on Sunday. You guys, we heard the state of the Falcons fan base Sunday. So. That being said, this is Miss Maggie T at Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you're new to the channel, please, please hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. As well as go, go on over to Miss Maggie T, my new Facebook, well, excuse me, YouTube channel. Trying to bring you guys new content. It's going to be more than just Falcons, Atlanta Hawks, Braves, what have you. Um, Miss Maggie T will bring it to you. But on that note, I want to thank you guys for listening to me. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and get in the body here. Till the next time, you guys, we are the nation. And I'm out. Peace.